NBA is suspending the season. With the NHL just announcing that they are pausing the season due to the coronavirus. Today, the World Health Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. We are calling for the home isolation. Big, big news coming out of Santa Anita. It was just announced that Santa Anita will cease racing operations. Protocols, they are changing almost by the hour. Today is the last day of racing in Britain until the end of April going to shut it down. Until further notice, TVG and TVG2 is transitioning to what is known as a disaster recovery automated workflow. There may be no hosts on air, but we will continue to bring you racing from the tracks still in operation. Everything has changed. Things change by the minute. We need to meet this moment head on and lean in. Own this moment and take action. Bonner Park going to be getting started here momentarily. We'll be tracking Will Rogers Downs 10 race program there. The only sport left going in the country is horse racing. Out of an abundance of caution and under the protocols that have been mandated by local, state and federal authorities, we're going to take you into a lot of homes of my colleagues. We are doing all kinds of crazy stuff to keep the lights on at TVG and to continue bringing you what live racing action that there is out there. So we have Oakland Park, Gulfstream, and Tampa Bay as it has been the focus over the past few weeks. We want to give a big shout out and a thank you to the television team for their hard work and their innovation. We're still here for you on a daily basis thanks to them. We're very excited to have NBC Sports Network as our partner as we bring you racing action from around the country. It's also important to point out the extreme measures that racetracks have taken to keep those who are essential employees and the competitors themselves safe. How can horse racing continue in a time like this? Well, racehorses require daily exercise and keeping them in a regular routine is essential. So, under a safe and regulated atmosphere, some tracks are able to continue to operate. It's self-contained. All the players are locked in place. There's very little travel. We're not playing road games. We're not playing away games. We can't just close the door and, and hit the lights and walk out. Unlike other sports, we can't just send everybody home. We have to care for these animals. The return to Santa Anita has really been hinged on so much with the quarantine and jockeys and what they do there, having to check in and stay in their star wagons. This is likely a term you're gonna hear a lot of here in the not too distant future, sports bubble. That is what Santa Anita has effectively created. The decision was made that the Kentucky Derby will move from the first Saturday in May to the first Saturday in September. September would be the best possible place, the furthest back that they could push it. The Triple Crown is underway. And they're into the stretch. Tesla and Manny Franco to win the Belmont Stakes. Authentic will make the front, but it was not easy to get there. Billy Swiss Skydiver came on strongly. There goes the nose, all the way to the wire, and it is going to be a photo finish. Swiss Skydiver, I think she did it. It's morning again in Lexington, Kentucky, and the horses are prouder, stronger, and getting better with each work as they head towards their championship moments. The 2020 Breeders' Cup at Keeneland Racecourse. Whitmore and Diamond Oaks to the outside. Whitmore has taken the lead. It's Whitmore in the Breeders' Cup Sprint. Monomoy Girl is fourth.
on the outside. Here comes Monomoy Girl. She did it again. Monomoy Girl and Florent Giroux have won the distaff over Valiant. Into the setting sun at Keeneland, the Breeders' Cup Classic Field. And they're into the stretch. He won the Derby. He won the Breeders' Cup Classic. He's off the deck indeed. There may be no fans in the grandstand, but racing continues thanks to the tireless dedication of both the racetrack teams and the backstretch community. And there are so many unsung heroes, racetrack to racetrack. Horse racing is a microcosm of the world at large, and we are all a community brought closer together now during this global pandemic, helping each other, and that goes on in neighborhoods across this country. It's going on right now in horse racing. These are some strange days, but I think we're seeing a lot of the good side of people, a lot of things people are doing for each other, helping each other out, realizing that friends and family and loved ones are way more important than all that useless material stuff that so many people have focused on. It's going to be really nice to, to spend these times together and try to make the most of it in a, a situation that none of us could have predicted. Years from now, when we look back on 2020, much may be forgotten, but the dedication and the perseverance of the horse racing community, the day-to-day -day heroes, those men and women, they will not be forgotten. Hope is a good thing. Maybe the very best of things, and no good thing ever dies. In this time and age, we need a lot more hope.